And one thing that I'd, I wanted to talk about, Helen, is that um, we have seen are seeing a pattern, and I've noticed a pattern in my personal life that, um, I, like, I was accused of being somehow anti-Semite, anti-Semitic. It's because I, I, I typically. I uh, will refer to like the mainstream media and this Zionist thread that runs through it, or I will I will decry Israel's uh, dependence on U.S. militarism for their existential uh, you know survival and stuff. And uh, so what they do is they try to conflate that. Well, they've tried to legally do so. I mean, South Carolina has actually passed a law that legally it is considered anti-Semitism to speak yeah. poorly of the state of Israel. Yeah. When it's like there are plenty of Jewish people who oppose the state of Israel yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah, and yeah, so the, 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 enough, the, the mission there's... creep of anti-Semitism is, uh, is being enshrined in law as we speak. And it's because people are coming out against and, and they, they need to silence anti-war voices. And this is one way because nobody wants to be an anti-Semite, obviously. So they're trying to just change the well, definition of the word. And they frustrate the whole language by like like you know if you try to explain to people no i'm not at all anti-semitic i mean some of my best friends are jews they go they immediately throw up air quotes did you hear what he just said some of my best friends are jews well yeah so what are you supposed to say yeah what if (laughs) some of your best friends actually are jews that you love dearly you've embraced them you lived all your life you you, you, that they you do have a high regard, and you think they're the nicest, finest people in your life. You're not allowed now to express that you have friends that are Jewish. Nope. Not, yeah, they're just so trying they're, to. They're sabotaging cartoon. their own self. These types of people who f- feel that it's necessary to throw air quotes up every and time. And if anything, you, they're the ones who are anti-Semitic by claiming that uh, all Jews support Israel. And it's like you can't speak for no. all these people who, as any anyone, any race or group or ethnicity of people. Yeah has a great variation in uh, how they feel about certain things. And so by trying to just say, oh, yeah, well, Israel speaks for all Jews. Well, that's pretty anti-Semitic, I think. I mean, and what what they say is that uh, when, if you make just a comment saying that, uh, well, there's there's this one graphic that shows everybody in CNN (laughs) the percentage of who who are Jewish and who are not. Of both management and commentators. It's a big preponderance, a a very large disproportionate because it's only, what, like 2% in the general population and it's like 70% of CNN or something. And just pointing that out is uh, you're being, you are told that is anti-Semitic to point out. Well, actually, it's anti-Semitic for you to tell me that that's anti-Semitic to point that out because you're assuming that by pointing out that they're all Jews, that I'm somehow imbuing that with a negative that it's that's negative that's true what if, so, what if we were cheering that on and saying yeah. this is a good thing well, I'm not, I, didn't, I didn't have any value judgment about the yeah. percentage of CNN that can but I think they can guess what the value judgment is but they, since we're they, antithetical but they to are that. putting on the value judgment it's right. not me they that's are the true. ones who are being well the guy who actually made up that chart of course we didn't make up any chart we were just pointing out a chart so that guy got crucified almost of course yeah the CNN threatened to dox the guy and then he had to submit and say oh I'm sorry, I'm sorry I'll never do it I'm again I'm sorry I told the okay. truth the truth is so anti-Semitic and some independent uh, analyst when that story this was about four years ago five years ago this guy made this chart and he put like you know was he, he, one side was one color was people who were Jew and it was I think more than 50% of it was, I think it was like 70, 70% or yeah, something yeah or, or Jew- Jewish uh, and uh, so this was a big uh, this was the worst thing he could have ever done but then independent analysts checked it out and it's, it's true so <laughs> diversity is great CNN will push push diversity for everyone else until you step through the doors of CNN because diversity comes to a screeching halt so then it's primarily it's a Jewish organization and then and when you point this out and, and and people say well so what so what what difference does it make Jews are talented people and yes that's it's true uh but uh, there is an existential, an insularity there that's very notable. Also reflected in Israel itself. Uh, they push uh, d- diversity in other countries, but uh, do they want diversity for themselves? No. no. They're, they're, not stripping, they're Palati- stripping non-Jews of citizenship. <laughs> they're not right inviting now. Palestinians yeah, into... They're, they're the, stripping uh, the, uh, even the Bedouins, not, not even the Palestinians, the, the Bedouin the nomads that uh, live in Israel are being stripped of citizenship. Mm-hmm. And, uh, of course, Palestinians, we know what they're doing to them, but uh, uh, diversity is great for every other country. Yeah. So, so, but so, uh, of course, Jews are some of the finest and most intelligent, gifted people. The, the contribution to this world is absolutely undeniable. You know, I mean, science, philosophy, and music, music, uh, Yitzhak Perlman, Yasha Heifetz, uh, Yuri Menu, and the best violinists ever. I mean, this anyone who can make a blanket statement says Jews are terrible. This, this is wrong. It's incorrect. They're great people, no doubt. Um, but our criticism is about how this thread. 
this like sort of Zionistic thread has sort of made us into sort of supine, subservient to this like military. Yeah, this the U.S. Middle has East, become the attack dog like, for the Israeli state. Our, our money is going to Middle East wars. Those Middle East wars do not benefit American people. They benefit only Israel and, and they the in, Defense Department. In fact, department. work against our geopolitical of interests course. because the, they the, create enemies that we did not need to have. We could we have, have like no housing. We could have free housing for yeah, the cost. Instead, it's sixty-seven percent of every tax dollar goes to fund militarism. Yeah. So yeah, it, it, your choice is yours. You could either have, uh, uh, you know, another $7 trillion more in Middle East, or you can actually have, like, health care, free education, housing. You know, yeah, and choices. I think that uh, most Americans, probably all Americans when you think about it, but maybe, you know, there's a few who just uh, don't like their own best interests to be represented. 99% of Americans are going to come out in favor of, hey, maybe we should spend this huge chunk of money on rebuilding our crumbling infrastructure, uh, housing for people who don't have it. Oh, education would be nice. Healthcare, that's a great thing. Every other civilized country in the world has healthcare. You know? so, so, so this thing started out as a discussion because we're sensitive to uh, what's going to happen to this channel and every channel that we do. Uh, they're going to try to find some sort of thing that we said that uh, to uh, a person who, who's in the tech support who does the examination say, oh, look at uh, minute number nine. He said something about Israel. Therefore, he's anti-Semitic. And m most of the, of the poor guys who are working at Twitter and stuff, they're just low-level idiots. They don't know anything. So they're like, oh, he did say something about Israel. And everybody knows the protocols of language. And Cannot. everyone knows we've now uh, changed the definition of anti-Semitism to actually reflect criticism yeah. of Israel. It doesn't yeah. mean talking about Jews anymore. It yeah. means talking about Israel, which is yeah. a very different thing. We're talking about how this militarism has seeped into every aspect of the American project and how this is caused by this well, state. It, it now Israel. has completely co-opted all of our politics, wherein if you want to run for Congress or if you want to run for the Senate, you have to, you have to sign Israel. a loyalty oath. Yeah. They changed it when Cynthia McKinney revealed that. It, they changed it so it's not a loyalty any, oath anymore. Now you just have to write a paragraph about how much you're going to support Israel. Or else they'll pour APAC, will pour all of its funding into yeah. your opponents. So, yeah. And so you end up with a guy who thinks islands float on the surface of the water. Yeah. Instead so of Cynthia to, to wrap it up, no, we're not anti-Semitic. We will debate you on that. We will submit proof to the people. We who are anti-war. We're anti-war, and and, what and you should be too.